The Joker is debatably the most famous supervillain that there is in the DC Universe, and in comics in general. He has no superpowers, and yet he has still been in some pretty insane fights, and suffered some intense physical injuries, including having Superman thrust his hand through his chest. But obviously, that wound was fatal, and this list isn't going to count fatal wounds. We're going to look at the Joker's worst injuries that he was able to survive. Has his face cut off. Now, you would think that the Joker getting his face cut off would be retribution for his crimes, either one of his victims getting revenge or some sort of message from another supervillain in Gotham. But instead, the Joker actually wanted to cut his own face off, at least in the comic book version, where he arranged for the doll maker to slice off his face. Now, the reason he did this makes no real sense, but it was all part of a crazy plan to hurt Batman. He had his own face cut off and then abducted the Bat family and cut off their faces. Or at least he made them think he had cut their faces off, when in reality they were just tied up, covered in bandages and had some numbing stuff on their face. So this was basically all just to mess with Batman's head. Like I said, it doesn't really make much sense, it's just a little Joker insanity. And later he got his face back thanks to a pit of Dionysium, which is a super chemical that heals any injury and even resurrects the dead. And in fact, Commissioner Gordon actually shot the Joker and killed him, but the Dionysium in his veins just brought him back to life. And of course, the Jerome version of the Joker in the series Gotham also had his face cut off, although at the time, he was actually dead. And after one of his acolytes couldn't resurrect him, he cut off his face so that he could wear it as a mask and become the new Jerome. Though sadly for him, he actually did resurrect Jerome, it just took a minute for it to kick in and for him to get up and walking around, and he was not happy about losing his face. And so he killed the Acolyte, which kind of serves him right to be honest, after all Jerome is a serial killing megalomaniac, so why the hell would he even attempt to resurrect him? That plan was never going to end well. And then Jerome goes on to staple his own face back on, which kind of heals a little awkwardly in place. It seems like something they'd actually do in the comic book version of the Joker, and they kind of do with the way he sticks on his cut off face around his own face rather dementedly. He breaks his neck. In the most epic Batman Joker fight ever, Batman decides that enough is enough, and that he is finally going to put an end to the Joker. No more putting him in Arkham Asylum only to have him escape next week and hurt more people. No, Batman is finally dealing with the Joker. And he starts by throwing a Batarang straight through the Joker's eye, half blinding him. And then Batman also beats the crap out of him and ends up breaking the Joker's neck, paralyzing him from the neck down. Now you may be thinking, didn't the Joker die at the end of this fight? And you're right, he did. But it wasn't from his wounds, at least not entirely. You see, although his wounds were bad, he would have actually survived them. Although he'd likely have been paralyzed from the neck down for the rest of his life. But with the Joker being Joker, he decided that he'd rather just snap his own neck and kill himself, using the last of his strength to frame Batman for his murder so the police would hunt him down. Because the Joker just always has to have the last laugh. Beaten up. Now, this is the Joker's most frequent injury. Seriously, being beaten unconscious would be devastating to one of us. But for the Joker, that's just his Tuesday. And I'm not going to say just one fight, because the Joker has suffered some truly amazing injuries over the years that just need to be mentioned. There's the fight with Harley Quinn, where Harley bites the Joker's lips off. There is the fight where Joker goaded Nightwing into literally beating him to death, although they were able to restart the Joker's heart again and bring him back to life. But still, being beaten to death is a pretty severe injury. And in the fight in Endgame, Batman bites a piece of his ear off. Although he does also die later on in this fight, so it doesn't quite count, but I just had to mention the fact that Batman bites part of the Joker's ears clean off, with his teeth. It's just amazing. And there's also the Arkham Asylum fight, where Batman punches the Joker in the face with a fist coated in plastic explosives, and he punches the Joker unconscious and takes out several of his teeth, not to mention probably causing some serious brain damage. And in the comics, his teeth are actually knocked out by Barbara Gordon, who wanted revenge for the Joker crippling her. And so she just lost it with him at one moment and smacked him in the face. And the Joker lost that famous smile that he loved so much. And there's also the many over-the-top attacks in Mortal Kombat, where we see the most brutal and graphic of the Joker's injuries in pretty much all media. 
I mean, there's a lot of stabbing and bone breaking going on in this. But of course, he does die in a lot of these, so they don't all count. Crippled. In the show, Batman the Brave and the Bold, the Joker is injured during his final fight with Batman and is unable to walk again, spending the rest of his life confined to a wheelchair. Although everyone else actually thought he was dead, even Batman, who then went on to retire and marry Catwoman, passing the mantle of Batman onto Dick Grayson. But of course, the Joker was still alive and still very much able to get his revenge. So the Joker trained a stranger to be the next Joker, saying that he was the Joker's son, when really it was just some random nobody that the Joker found. And years later, after Batwoman and Catwoman have raised a son, Joker sends his replacement to kill Bruce Wayne and Selina Kyle. And he's killing them because the Joker has worked out that Batman was Bruce Wayne. As the Joker puts it, he's crazy, not stupid. Though ironically, killing Bruce and Selina Wayne ensured that their son Damien would become the next Robin and then Batman, all in order to get revenge on the Joker for killing his parents. And that is exactly what happens later on. Dick Grayson and Damian Wayne foil his evil plan to Joker gas the whole of Gotham, and the Joker is crushed to death. Thrown in a vat of acid. Now this is literally from the Joker's origin, so we kind of all already know about it, but it does have to be mentioned, as it not only warped his hair and skin colour, but it was also the final straw that broke the Joker's mind and turned him into a mass murdering psychopath, which is in many respects, his greatest injury. Now, this has happened in a few ways over the years, but my favourite is still the classic killing joke. In the killing joke, we see Joker's origin and his fall from grace as an average man trying to make ends meet, and then his transformation into the clown prince of crime. He's been duped into wearing the Red Hood outfit, making Batman think he's a crime boss, instead of just being a bumbling idiot, who is so scared of Batman that he trips over and falls into a vat of acid. And though the dunk in the tank may have been accidental, the damage it caused was permanent. And the Joker got a scar on every single part of his skin. I mean, that's not clown makeup he's wearing, that's a giant scar. Well, at least in most versions of the Joker it isn't makeup. In some it actually is makeup. And of course, I do love the Arkham Origins video game version, as we get to see it from the Joker's side. See his deranged mind imagine this vast, deadly bat who was trying to get him and then his heroic transformation into this beautiful Joker. It's a little insane, but that's kind of the point. We're seeing it from the insane guy's point of view. And those are the Joker's five worst injuries. I think my favourite injury, personally, is when he rips off his own face. I mean, it's just insane that he would do this to himself, all as some part of a petty revenge scheme that doesn't even really make sense. I mean, this more than anything to me shows just how insane the Joker is because I can almost understand people hurting others. I mean, they do that all the time, but mutilating yourself in such a graphic way for literally no real reason, well, that's true insanity. But which of these is your favorite? And are there any other Joker injuries you know of that you think should have been mentioned? Feel free to let us know in the comments. And I'd just like to quickly remind everyone that we have merchandise available on our store and to say thanks to all of you who have donated to the Needle Mouse Productions page on Patreon. And as always, thanks for watching, and feel free to subscribe, share, like, and comment.